Now we are going to start with resources and development part 3 which is the last part of this chapter and over here we are going to study about land uh, soil as resource. Now soil what why the soil is so important now soil uh, on the soil the life is being dependent on the soil as soil have uh, uh, all the living materials and it would give birth to plants it holds plants it holds uh, the life on it if plants won't grow on something then we would not be able to eat anything and that's why we would not be able to survive so soil plays a very vital role in our life okay so soil is said as resource because it plays a very 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 strong and vital role in our life then comes classification of soil now as we have studied earlier about classification of resource there is also classification of soil now soil are of the numerous kinds that is there are six kinds of soil present in india so first is alluvial soil now in northern plains the soil which is made which is the purest form of soil which is made due to the rivers or depositions uh, on the river banks that kind of soil is known as alluvial soil now this soil is the most fertile soil that can be seen uh, near any uh, river bank we can say ganga river bank in this river bank on brahmaputra river bank we can also see it near kaveri and krishna nadi also so then comes black soil now black soil its texture is black and it is a little bit of dry but it holds a lot of moisture and we can grow a lot of uh, plants such as rice we can grow a uh, paddy over there okay so now this is black soil and this black soil is uh, uh, so uh, present uh, black soil is present in areas such as rajas uh, not rajasthan gujarat and maharashtra we can also see in some parts of uh, madhya pradesh Black soil is also known as Ruger soil. So these are the outlook of uh, the characteristics of their soil. Then comes red and yellow soil. Now basically this soil which is found on plateaus are yellow. But when it mixes this igneous soil, when it mixes with metamorphic rocks, they form the red color. So the, as they get oxidized, as iron get oxidized, they, it changes its color. So this is known as red and yellow soil and they are present. Uh, on our uh, Deccan plateau. Okay, then comes laterite soil. Now, laterite soil are the soil which does not have uh, uh, much moisture. Okay, so uh, the uh, uh, sorry, it has a lot of moisture. We can say as clay soil. The clay soil is known as laterite soil. Okay, then comes arid arid soil. Now, the soil uh, we can say sand is a arid soil the soil which are present near the kutch region or we can say rajasthan region is known as arid soil then comes forest soil soil which is present on the mountains uh, or on the hills uh, it has lots of moisture and on that the uh, forests are being settled that soil is known as forest soil so this was all about the classification of soils then comes soil erosion now the cause of land degradation is soil erosion the soil get washed out so these soil erosion can be conserved by the following factor that is by strip cropping if we would crop the plants in the stripping manner that would help to hold the soil and that is why the soil erosion can be conserved then by planting shelter beds belts now if you want a very deep information about shelter belts you can check out the part two of this chapter uh yeah and shelter belts are uh you know uh, a boundary line which is plant uh, which is being constructed so that the water won't flow away so that the soil won't go away and soil erosion won't happen then comes counter plowing and that is farming now what do we mean by counter plowing now plowing the soil 
means digging the soil which would uh, create some air in it and which would give space of humus development and which, which would uh, provide aeration in the soil so that the soil would hold back and it would it won't erode so that is known as counter plowing and what do we mean by terrace farming terrace farming means uh, if on mountains the uh, water because of water if water flows it would be going away like this but if on mountain if you would make some steps like this then if water will come it will stay over here then it will stay over here so this is a terrace formation so this formation is known as terrace farming okay so these are mostly present in obviously mountainous region and also in some plateau regions so yeah this was all about resource and development over here the chapter completes this is the third part of chapter please check out second and first part of this chapter you will get a numerous information about resources also about land resource land as resource so yeah this was all about this chapter so if you like this chapter uh, I, if you like the explanation please give the thumbs up also uh comment down if there are any suggestions share this video as much as possible and subscribe to my channel so that you can get my latest updates thank you